The Woman in Black is a 1983 gothic horror novel written by Susan Hill. The plot concerns a mysterious specter that haunts a small English town. The novel is narrated by Arthur Kipps, the young lawyer who formerly worked for Mr. Bentley. One Christmas Eve he is at home with his second wife Esme and four stepchildren, who are sharing ghost stories. When he is asked to tell a story, he becomes irritated and leaves the room, and decides to write his horrific experiences several years in the past in the hopes that doing so will exorcise them from his memory. Many years earlier, whilst still a junior solicitor for Bentley, Kipps is summoned to Crithen Gifford, a small market town on the northeast coast of England, to attend the funeral of Mrs. Alice Drablower and settle her estate. Kipps is reluctant to leave his fiancée, Stella, but eager to get away from the dreary London fog. The late Mrs. Drablow was an elderly and reclusive widow who lived alone in the desolate and secluded Deal Marsh house. The house is situated on Nine Lives Causeway. At high tide, it is completely cut off from the mainland, surrounded only by marshes and sea frets. Kipps soon realizes that there is more to Alice Drablow than he originally thought. At the funeral, he sees a woman dressed in black and with a pale face and dark eyes, whom a group of children are silently watching. While sorting through Mrs. Drablow's papers at Teal Marsh House over the course of several days, he endures an increasingly terrifying sequence of unexplained noises, chilling events and appearances by the woman in black. In one of these instances, he hears the sound of a horse and carriage in distress closely followed by the screams of a young child and his maid, coming from the direction of the marshes. Most of the people in Crithen Gifford are reluctant to reveal information about Mrs. Drablower and the mysterious woman in black. Any attempt by Kipps to find out the truth causes pain and fearful reactions. From various sources, he learns that Mrs. Drablow's sister, Janet Humphrey, gave birth to a child, Nathaniel. Because she was unmarried, she was forced to give the child to her sister. Mrs. Drablow and her husband adopted the boy, and insisted that he should never know that Janet was his mother. The child's screams that Kipps heard were those of Nathaniel's ghost. Janet went away for a year. When realizing she could not be parted for long from her son, she made an agreement to stay at Eel Marsh House with him as long as she never revealed her true identity to him. She secretly planned to abscond from the house with her son. One day, a pony and trap carrying the boy across the causeway became lost and sank into the marshes, killing all aboard, while Janet looked on helplessly from the window. After Janet died, she returned to Hauntil Marsh House and the town of Crithen Gifford, as the malevolent woman in black. According to local tales, a sighting of the woman in black presaged the death of a child. After some time, but still years before the beginning of the story, Kipps returns to London, marries Stella, has a child of his own, and tries to put the events at Crithin Gifford behind him. At a fair, while his wife and child are enjoying a pony and trap ride, Kipps sees the woman in black. She steps out in front of the horse and startles it, causing it to bolt and wreck the carriage against a tree, killing the child instantly and critically injuring Stella who dies ten months later. Kipps finishes his reminiscence with the words, They have asked for my story. I have told it. Enough.